your number? 21. That number is your letter of the alphabet. Once you have the letter, find the right aisle, and you are in business. You do this every day? Let's see what the site is worth to them. One eight seven six nine eight eight. 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 The book value is three fifty. With the new home in place, the improved value of the property is thirty-five hundred. They can make a killing, but how do they pull it off? Know why I plumped for the caddy? The extra trunk space. One thing you learn in the war, boys: you do your talking once the smoke clears. Throw out the guns! Real clever asshole, I'm gonna find you! Weapons on the ground, now! You want me? You got me.
Christ. Just missed. I need a word, Courtney. That's okay, Jack. You, you didn't need to come all the way down It's here. important, Courtney. How can I help? Tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. What are you talking about? Don't fuck with me, Courtney! Jack, I swear, I don't know what you're talking about. How does your name appear as one of the investors in the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? You're out of your mind. I was down at the Hall of Records checking on a property company called Elysian Fields Developments. Their funding comes from the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Seriously, Jack, I have no idea. Your name is there, Courtney, with some pretty interesting company. The mayor, the district attorney, some dirty cops, and your buddy, Dr. Harlan Fontaine. Dr. Fontaine? Spill it, Courtney. I want all of it. Fontaine and the rest. Fontaine took the morphine off our hands. Look, Jack, I know you said to get rid of it, but it's okay. I did something good for once. He reinvested the money for us. That's it. That's what's happening. They're building houses for GIs, Jack. I turned a mistake into something beneficial, something that's going to help out the guys. Courtney, they're building matchstick houses. They're going to burn them for the insurance money. They'll probably stiff the poor bastards for the deposits. Please, Jack, say it isn't so. Harlan's a doctor, a good one. He helps out a lot of people. Looks like he's helping himself, Courtney. You're the fall guy. Who's asking? Leland Monroe. I was wondering when you'd get around to calling. I'd like to meet with you, Mr. Kelso. I bet you would, Mr. Monroe. But I value my skin highly enough to not want to meet with you. Why don't you just send some more of your boys around and we'll have a nice cup of tea? You realize that I could make you a very wealthy man, Mr. Kelso. Better than $220 a month? I'm going to have to let it slide, Mr. Monroe. Are you haggling with me, Jack? I might be. Come around to my place at 9. 5164 Santa Monica Boulevard. You come? I might. Good night, Mr. Monroe. <laughs> 